The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down 18, Nasdaq's up one, S&P's a flat. We have the gold contract up uh, 520, silver's up seven cents. We got platinum up eight dollars. You have uh, copper flat, uh, oil's up 28. Bonds, 10 year is down 13 ticks. The 30 is up, uh, is down one point and four ticks we appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here let's go first and we'll take a look the uh the s and p's are trying to get into positive territory folks we go take a look at the the e-minis and see what we're looking at out here uh e-minis right now they the high of today is uh 2027 the lows 2019 and if we take a look at this it's right at the top of the range uh this whoops right there Okay, so the top of the range, what we're dealing with is uh, the 28, 2028 level. Um, we are coming into that right now, and let's see what we have. You, you get nine minutes. Uh, okay, so check this out. That the first leg down this morning got us into 19, 2019. Uh, you have juice at the bottom of that level, so what that sets up, is that, yeah, we're testing the top of it right now. Uh, it looks like it's not gonna have enough juice to get up and over this 2027.50. Hit it right on, the, right, right on the top, too, which is a trip. Um, so the first 10 minutes just finished. We'll see how this shakes out. It's gonna try to get into that level, but what we do have is this. The first sell down at 0930, bottom line, you get uh, 58,000 contracts down there. That's saying you're gonna be back down to that level. We go over to the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup. Uh, the NDX right now is only down uh, three points. Uh, the Qs are only down uh, one penny. That they, uh, um, is not as strong uh, as the S&Ps this morning. Uh, the NDX looks like it's going to be the one that's going to drag us lower, which is going to be really interesting watching this thing shake out. Because what we have had the last few days is that we've stayed over the September 17th high, dramatically lighter volume, but guess what? We know if you stay over it, bottom line, you can go to higher price. Uh, NDX 100 right now looks like it's signaling that um, that's the end of that bounce that we just had. And looking inside the NDX 100, let's see what the strength is versus the weakness. This is what you have. The strength... This is. The strength inside the NDX 100 right now is Monster Beverage. That's up uh, 861 at 141.31. Let's see what they have to say. So, Monster Beverage, that McDonald's is testing uh, some products in stores. That's what that's up on. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we take a look at this, we'll put Monster Beverage up. It's not a bad looking chart. You know, you, you, what you've come down to the bottom of the consolidation is the buck 20. We got down to a uh, buck 27 last week. That monster had shown strength going all the way back into, into uh, February. The second leader inside the NDX 100 this morning uh, is SanDisk. SanDisk is uh, in um, talks to get taken over. You have. Uh, Married International is up a dollar fifty-two. That's trading at seventy-four ninety-five. And Marriott, let's see how Marriott's set up right now. That also has come back to uh, last time it had volume. That was at uh, fifty-nine dollars. We traded down to sixty-four dollars uh, two weeks ago. And the last leader coming up is Discovery Communications. Now on the way down, um, Western Digital is down three thirty. You have Vertex Pharmaceutical off uh, 219, and uh, Biopharma is down 198. If we go back to Western Digital for a second, we take a look at Western Digital down 339. Uh, this little baby's going after it's a it, there's a there's a so this is a classic. Uh, you, you're gonna this is going after a gap. 
um, that has, it, it's not that it was a dead cat bounce. Western Digital went from $114, folks, um, in December down to 67. You did a dead cat, uh, almost up to ice. Ice would have been uh, 93.58. And hit 88.46. Bottom line, that's going to be uh, coming back down, uh, going into that low. We'll see. We'll see what it ends up doing at that particular gap. Uh, big blue. We go over to big. Well, here, let's go to the Dow Industrials first because what you do have is pretty amazing that the Dow. You know, Dow's only down 21 when IBM is getting toasted and roasted. Uh, that's down 750. Um, you have 643,000 shares right now. That is coming into its low that has been banging on, which is 140.64. We've hit 140.51. You have, you have 640,000 shares traded. What that is saying is this. IBM looks like it's going to be an ABC structure on the way down. They're trying to hold this as much as they can at this 140 level. Um, the volume is already saying it's going to be way too high. The last time we were down here, we were it tested. So here, check this out. August 25th, you get to a low of 140.64. We have volume of 2.3 million. You bounce from 140, you go up to 149. We have 1.1 million on the bounce. Remember downtown, we're 2.3. You come back down again and we tested it, and we tested it with 968,000. Okay, so check it out. You go back up with 800,000. So we go from 140, you go to 153 and you get 800,000, right? No one's in the store, they're buying the product, now they're going to get toasted and roasted. We've already done 652,000, so you know it's going to blow away the 962,000 from the 2nd of October, but what is also happening is that we're set up today to do about 3.5 million, which is going to put a number on the high volume swing low that it's testing right now, which is 140.64. We've already hit 140.51. We look at this intraday, and what you're going to see is that I suspect we're not done uh, going down into those lows. Um, now, okay, so let's go back to the Dow, strength versus the weakness. So your strength is United Technologies. That's up 271. That They missed their numbers, and they're going to waste every, all the tax, taxpayers, all their shareholders' uh, dollars. They're going to do a buyback. They're going to do a buyback. Th this stock has gone straight down from 124. Uh, into the price point of 85. This is strictly a dead cat bounce. This thing wants to trade down into the $75 level. That is the strength. Travelers, we'll bring up Travelers. Uh, travelers right now is number three, but Travelers is a nice little setup. Travelers is up a buck 68, um, and nothing, there's nothing like the insurance business. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, this little baby has been in a consolidation uh, you take a look at it, and what you're going to see is that the bottom of this consolidation is at the uh, 95 area. What you can see, though, is that when we went up on the week of the 18th of September, you can see that there's buyers in there. That's the bottom line. So um, that's on a weekly. We put this on a monthly. Uh, it's, you know, on a, it, this is on a monthly. It's weak. You know, we'll see what ends up happening here. You know, it's going to go to the top of the range, uh, but on a monthly, that, that's a weak setup. Uh, you know, you've been at highs for quite a while with dramatically lighter volume. Procter & Gamble is the second um, weakest stock inside the Dow Industrial. Visa is number three, and Goldman Sachs is number four. Goldman Sachs is trading down a uh, buck thirty right now. If we go over to Berkshire Hathaway, BRK, um, we take a look at Berkshire. Berkshire Hathaway right now, is flat at 133.12. This stock's going to go lower, folks. Um, it's technically set up here. Let's, let's do the technical setup right here. So what you've done is this. It made a high of 152. It did that with 93 million. It come off that high with 99 million and 100 million. This thing looks to me like it's set up to get into like $80, which is going to be a trip, man. That's 50 bucks below where we are. Yeah, that's how it's set up. Um, when you take a look at uh, just the amount of uh, equity that Berkshire owns and IBM and the rails, bottom line, they are dramatically lower and uh, they're lower with some big volume. We go over to that gold market and what we have with gold is this. What we needed 
which is really cool, which we got, by the way, yesterday, is this. The, when we took out the high that was generated, 1169.80, which was the August 24th high, we took that out in the physical market with light of volume. So watch how we did this. That high on the 24th had 264,000 contracts. We took it out with the 200, which is great, by the way, okay? Bottom line is though, you know, you're always gonna, you never can have volume accelerate as you keep going up forever or as you're going down forever. What happens is that when you take it out with light of volume after a nice run, what you wanna see, if you're a bull, is that you wanna see it get back under that level again with light of volume, then you wanna see the charge happen again. Well, that's exactly what we got, it was so cool. Yesterday, you got down to the 1168.30, which got you under the 1169.80. You did it with 101,000 contracts versus the 200. Now what we've done this morning is that you've got down to the 1167.20. You've rejected lower price, you have light of volume, now guess what? Now our benchmark is 192,000. That looks to me like it's gonna, well, we'll see whether it's gonna be a monster ABC up, but it's a big one. It's 1103 is the A and 1191 is the B. That will set us up to not only get into and over the 12, we'll get over the 1234. So, sweet setup. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks, we'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials are down 16, NASDAQ's up one, S&P's are flat. We're gonna be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we get the uh, Dow on 14. Uh, NASDAQ is flat. S&P is also a flat. Let's go to uh, Mark in four columns. Hey, Mark, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing great. Thank you. Cool. Hey, I was just looking at Apple on like a 30-minute chart, and it looks like it's breaking up a little ABC up to the 114, 115 level. Um, You know, it's still not going to look like a dead cat bounce, but it still looks like that's going to keep the market up a little bit for a while here. Let's take a look at it. So uh, Apple is up a buck 41 right now. You get 14 million shares, and as... uh, Intraday, um, okay, so. Up to that 112.70. Yeah, no, no, I, I can see that. Let me just pull this back a little bit more. Yeah, so it just overtook, one second. So it overtook with the 112.10. If I take the bottom of that, which is one, yeah, that's 114. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we're at 113.26. Yeah, I can hit 114 easy, man. You know, and so that's 75 more cents. And that is, that is uh, inside the Dow. It's saving the Dow right now. Um, right. You get the 113.51. So even 14 million, this is interesting because 14, that's a six, lot of volume. Yeah, it's a lot of volume. You know, it, it's going, it, yeah. The one, well, the 113.51 is um, 73 million. It hasn't hit it yet. Now, this is where this gets real interesting because if it can't hit it, that's a huge problem because uh, it, it should be able to not. You know what I'm saying? We've, we've hit the, the price projection intraday, folks, gets you into 114 because what it, what it absolutely has done is it took that swing out, has the juice behind it. It's like, okay, now if you can't make it, this is where this really gets cool. That would be saying that someone's on the other side of that really pushing in a huge amount of stock. Oh, I you know, it's 9.29. Um, high is 113.51, and I've got 73 million. Okay. Yeah, that's my point. Exactly. See what yeah. I'm saying? That. But if so, it can take that out, it could actually go all the way to the top of the range, which is 116.89, which has 58 million up there. They can, but watch. No doubt. But it looks to me what's happening right now. So, so watch what happens here, folks. And this is what's really cool. What I've found is that you can actually find out more about the marketplace on a failure than. Uh, an equity that does what you think it's going to do. So right. when you take a look at this, this has taken out a swing. It should go to 114, okay? That's how it's set up. The downdraft, however, is 113.51. So we'll see, number one, if it can get there. It looks like it well, should. Yeah. You know, it looks <laughs> like it's doing it right now. <laughs> there, there, it, there it goes. <laughs> so we just went we're at 113.54. So now what the key is, is this, can it hold it? Because if it doesn't hold it, that's going to be a monster failure. Right. And we already got 8 million on this 30-minute bar, which is more than anything that day. Oh, yeah. No, no. There's, there's no doubt. There's, there's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye on that one, one thirteen fifty. Because it, it does we'll make uh, a difference in all the indices. You know, with, with IBM right. down so dramatically, uh, bottom line, you know, Apple right now uh, is helping the Dow tremendously. You know, Apple's the fourth leader inside the Dow. Um, 
you know, but it looks to me, even at this point, that that's going to be um, a problem kind of trying to hold that number. We'll see. But that gives us a huge amount of information, man. There's no doubt about that. I just wanted to point that out. I didn't know if anybody was looking at that. So, good. Okay, thank Talking you. brother. Have a great one, right. man. Have a safe one. Let's go to Mike in Dallas. Hey, Mike, what's going on? How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, uh, man. Yourself? Doing great. Uh, just wanted to ask you one question uh, about range bars. Okay. Do you, do you ever use them? Do you see an advantage? When you or say to... range bars, what's your definition of a range bar? Well, I'm using um, Nadex. Okay. The, um, um, <clears throat> uh, and they have range bars, and uh, so I was on 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 how. What is the time frame? Eighteen. Eighteen minutes. Yes. Okay. So, what happens is this: I do use them. I, that's all I use, actually. Okay. Now, I happen to use ten-minute bars. Um, what happens with ranges is that what I've found is this, you can, as long as you stay with the same system and you've seen that that system is vibrant, whether it's going up or down and you get used to that system, you know, I happen to like 10 minutes and I've used a, you know, well, I've used 10 minutes now for like 15 years. But before that, you know, I went and I used all here. Just stay with us a second, Mike. All right. You bet. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 10. NASDAQ, S&P's a flat. Realistically, the whole market's flat, folks. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
that has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, Dow right now is uh, down nine. Nasdaq's off two. S and P's a flat. We're talking about Mike from Dallas. So, Mike, when um, hey, Tom, what I misspoke a little bit. I'm using Ninja as my platform. I see. No, because I, I I have the Nat, the Nadex platform up, and I'm just, I, I was just going to show you the the ten minute charts. I was trying to figure out how you're doing an eighteen minute chart. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, I no, that's cool. Ninja, Ninja, and I'm trading um, the Dax. Okay. And uh, through Nadex, <laughs> and I wanted to just ask you uh, uh, about the range bars that that Ninja has. Yeah, so I I then that's why I asked for the definition, and I don't know what that would mean. A range bar on Ninja. Okay. okay. You know. Okay. Like what I do, what I do, I trade the swing points. Okay, so like the range this morning, you know, inside. If you you're talking about the DAX, right? Yes. Okay, so the 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 range for me would be you know, what uh, ten thousand one ninety one, and I wouldn't even take the bottom. So like what ten thousand one thirteen, right? Right. Yeah. You know, and so then what I would look for. Is and I don't have the volume yet. What I would look for when when the DAX just took out a little swing point of uh, 10,160, um, you know, would it popped right. over that? Would you have the volume or not? And inside the futures market, you 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 would have that statistic, you know. Okay. Like if I walk you through that, and you're looking at the Nadex platform right now, uh, yeah. on a 10 minute, uh, you know, what has just happened is that as we got into the top of the range. You know, now the, the range to inside the NDX 100 this yeah. morning is, is pretty clearly defined, okay? You know, yeah. your, your first high up there um, at 0840 was 4452. We came down, and you remember when I started the show, I have a high volume swing bar at 4433. So my take is that, okay, that wants to get tested, okay? Right. As you're looking at this Nadex platform, well, we just went into the 4453, and we did that with 4,400 contracts versus the 11,400 on the way down. And it's like, okay, now it wants to go test the bottom of that range. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what I would do is this. You have to, uh, I, I would, you need, if you're trading at DAX, I, I, you would want live, um, basically future quotes, so you can get that volume characteristic. Okay. As, okay. The, as to how it's pushing into highs versus pushing into lows. Okay, that helps. Cooking, brother. Thank you, Tom. Have a Bye -bye. great one, man. Have a safe Thank one. You. It's gonna get really interesting here, folks. Cause so, so the market hasn't 
well, it's been range-bound here, but the bottom line is that it hasn't done anything. It's, it's flat. Well, what it has done is this. It's tried to get over the high and break topside. You know, doesn't mean it won't yet, uh, but that's what it's absolutely tried to do. Still has zero juice. The high of yesterday was 303.37. We've got to 303.56. Um, you know, as we were talking with Mark, we go back over to Apple. Apple, you know, there's no doubt, man. Apple moves two points. That's a big number. Uh, Apple thus far has it's, it's 113.60. Um, it goosed that number, uh, but looks like right now it's this. Uh, there's a seller that's sitting right there, and that would make sense that a seller is sitting there. The reason being, folks, is that when that broke down, that's ice. Okay, so ice. Is well, it's it's actually ice is a little bit lower. Ice is a, like a 115.50. Oh, that's interesting. No, 112.37, 112.37. Uh, but if this can't hold the 113.51 today, that's going to give you a decent indication that uh, bottom line is that uh, you know you have a seller that's basically sitting there hanging out. Uh, we go into the uh, NDX 100. You can see the NDX 100 is still the weakest. Uh, you know, it's nice. Listen, it's, it's, it's flat, so it's really not that weak at all. But bottom line is that you have um, SanDisk is, is pushing it up and um, Western Digital is pushing it lower. We go over to the GLD ins inside the gold market. What do you have with the GLD? That's up uh, 88 cents right now. That looks like it's going to, you know, build some more cars, get up to this 113.90 area. A uh, few of the Gold equities, they're, they're really performing out here. Um, Rangold Resources, uh, they got 299,000 shares. Now, this is really cool, so check this out. Your high right now, on, well, the last high, uh, last week, has a million shares. We're already done 300,000. So what that is, that's, gonna, that's pushing into that level, has an expansion of volume, and in fact, if that's what we get, that's going to be an ABC structure up, and this is a big one, man. The, the A point on this is 58. The B is up there at uh, 70, so you get 12 bucks, 67, 77. That gives you 80, and see those 80s. There's, there's many of these equities, folks, that are they're lining up to go after this high uh, that was generated in April and May. So it's going to be pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, let's go over to the dollar index because what the dollar index hasn't done yet is this. Today, the volume is way too light in the way down. Now, it's, it's, da it's down 148 ticks. Way too light, though. We've, done only, we've do only done 8,000 contracts. Um, in order for this to get to lower price, it needs a lot more than that. And intraday, what you actually had is that the actual push-up that we had at uh, 10 o'clock actually has some juice in it. So, you know, that is basically saying it doesn't nullify the ABC down because what has happened is that we did come down with volume, you came up with lighter volume, but now you're backing down with lighter volume. So that characteristic would have to change in order to uh, get an ABC structure on the way down. If we go over to bonds, we take a look at bonds. Bonds, <laughs> bonds are such a trip, folks. Uh, bonds I'm uh, pulling back again with lighter volume. This bond market wants higher price, which is just a mind blower, but guess what? That's what it wants. You know, you you're coming back into 1.3 million. We're not going to do that today um, inside the bond market. You got 1.3, you're coming back into on 1.6. Right now, we've done 662,000. Uh, if we go over to and take a look at the USZ, we take a look at the 30 year, uh, 30 year right now is back on 117,000 contracts, and that's coming back into uh, 290,000 and 227. You know, so in that aspect also, you get the first leg down. Yeah, see, from, from we're at 157.07, and from 157.14, that baby's been lighter. That's, that's how this thing is shaking out right now. Uh, markets, all the markets uh, are positive right now. You got the Dow up 19, NASDAQ is flat, S&Ps are up uh, two and a half. Inside, uh, let's see, the goose is on, no doubt. Uh, inside there, Caterpillar just came up uh, in, inside the Dow. 
That's number two in the Dow right now. Let's see what she's doing. Caterpillar's up a buck sixty-nine. That's after you know trading at uh, seventy dollars. That's uh, down from uh, eighty-eight dollars. Oh man, a lot lower than eighty-eight. Down from one hundred and eleven actually. So it went from one hundred and eleven uh, down into sixty-two bucks. Some of the high volume stocks in this market. This is still a low volume market. Uh, oh, look at Harley Davidson. Evidently, they've already sold as many hogs as they're going to sell. That's down seven forty-nine. You got Weight Watchers up four bucks. Apple's up a buck eighty. You got Yum Brands up two sixty. Uh, Big Blue's down eight dollars. You got Rambus down uh, three forty-four. Oh, Rambus, that's down twenty-five percent. Let's go take a look at Hog. Harley and see what how Harley is set up right now. Um, Harley, oh look at this monster ABC down. Whoa, baby, this is a trip. So Harley just took out its August 24th swing low. That's 50.64. Had volume of uh, 5.3 million right now. You got uh, 12 million. Put this back. Look at that, man. What a classic this is. So check this out. You swing high in 06, $75.85, $53 million. You tested that with $24 million, $74.13. Man, this is crazy, folks. You know, when these things line up like this, it's always wild, man. Bottom line is that in 06, the highs, $75.87 has 53 million, which is the light volume, by the way. Uh, we tested that May of this year, of 2014, with 24 million, then guess what? You come down with volume. You come down with 55 million, you come down with 66 million. Thus far, this month, we've already done 51 million. This baby is on its way down to uh, 31. Right now, you're at 48. That's a, that's a big number, man. That is a big number, no, no two ways about that. Um, Let's see what else we're looking at. Oh, Rambus, R-M-B-S. See what happened to Rambus out here. So uh, Rambus, talk about falling out of bed, man. This thing really fell out of bed. So Rambus, uh, <laughs> this thing is giving it up in spades. It's down 340, screaming, uh, going also, you know, they're all going after high volume swing lows. And uh, the S&Ps, as we've just been talking here, folks, the S&Ps spiked and gave it up. This is a typical deal. So watch how this works, folks. This is pretty cool. Watch. What, if you're, if you're bullish, you better, bottom line, this thing got to break topside for you right now. Because when you spike like this, let me pull this up. What I've found is this. When you keep spiking, which the S&P is doing right now, all of that is done if it doesn't get away from price ASAP is basically going after the stops. Um, thus far, what you have is this. This is, this is what the number is. We're up 325. The, the number is 2025.50. Uh, we have, you still get five more minutes. So in, inside this bar, the S&Ps have every right, all of the above, to basically spike and spike good. Not, you have to be up about $7.00. Uh, in the next five minutes. You don't get up seven dollars in the next five minutes. Well, by the time we come back from break, let's see what time, yeah, it's, it's 46. What you'll see, you get back underneath that, that'll be a major failure because it has, it has the juice right now in order to do that. Um, you know, the, it's the spiking occurrence that when you see that many times, that's all it is, is a spike intraday. Uh, the NDX 100 doesn't have it you know, which is going to be really wild watching this shake out. Someone just sold right into it as they tried to get up into that level again, meaning getting into the level of uh, 4453. Uh, Dow Industrials, uh, no doubt, uh, went positive, and that's quite a feat when you have IBM down, uh, it was down 7 or $8. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you got IBM off uh, 757. You get IBM down 757, Big Mac is down 50, you get Walmart off 6, United Tech, uh, I see United Technologies putting some good juice in it. UTX, let's go take a look at UTX. UTX right now is up 413.
that's going to be, that's a buyback deal. And yeah, they're running that baby. Uh, Weight Watchers, <laughs> Weight Watchers, folks, is a trip. Weight Watchers, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna squeeze this to, to, to kingdom come. Uh, it's hard to even comprehend uh, why you'd be shot still at $6.65. But Weight Watchers, folks, had a 57% shot interest at six dollars and fifty seven cents and that's after this is this is where greed comes in like beyond belief it's so sick because weight watches went down from eighty six dollars to uh three dollars and sixty seven cents it's like oh really you know and this baby here you know the prop shops as soon as you see something like this okay fifty seven point eleven so picture this the, you had shares outstanding okay of 27.5 million and 15.7 of them were, were shot. Bottom line, that's what that's all about. It's not, it's, it, well, it's about Oprah news wise uh, buying it. And I suspect uh, if she bought, let's see, she was going to buy up to 10%. It was intriguing. W, I don't, you know, they didn't come out with the rest of the news as to what the actual deal was. Um, let's just see what it says. Okay, so they're saying the shot interest is only 26% as of October 19th. Um, it still doesn't say, what had it, what it happened is that the news announcement yesterday was that um, the, she was going to buy, going to buy, it didn't say she bought 10% of it and she was going to do a marketing deal with her. What they haven't uh, said yet is that what the deal is, what the price is, but I, it would look to me that uh, if you're talking about 5 million shares, most of the time it gets done at an average of 30 days prior to the deal. And that would be like she's in at uh, $7. So you can do uh, $12 times, what, 5 million shares? That wouldn't be a bad uh, couple days for Oprah, right? This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow's up 24. Nasdaq's up uh, 1. S&Ps are up 3. We're going to be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 29. S&Ps are up uh, 3. And NASDAQ is down 3. Let's go to Frank and Gloss. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Okay, thank you. Cool, man. I'm watching the SPY yep. say on a daily chart, sailing into a very stiff wind here. Um, the down days of, uh, of uh, September. Yes. Uh, excuse me, August. Yep. Uh, boy, uh, that's not three black crows because they don't overlap, right? Looking at the, what, the, the 19th, 20th, and 21st. Um. Or is it? I believe they are. Let me just look at something for a okay, second. Even though there's big gaps there. Yeah, that's okay. Well, would you, would you look, what happens with three black crows, folks, is this, is that they love to get tested. Um, so the definition of three black crows in council charting is that you have three moves that are similar, um, and we have that. I mean, that, that's, that's a reality. Uh, starting at 208. Now, this is what the danger is, okay? So I, I agree with you, Frank, that, you know, where... Right now, folks, you're at the cusp of, is it going to break out from the 202.89? And right now, you're 80 cents over that. Because if you do, you go to ICE. And ICE is, you know, almost, well, ICE is a lot higher. ICE is five points higher, man. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, so I think today is a big day, man. You know? Um, yeah, and, that's and, for sure. And we, we got over that swing high of uh, the 17th. A much lighter volume, but but if it held, if it holds price, yeah, it, it'll it'll go up to ice and ice. You know, you're coming in. We know that the volume's dying on the vine, but you know, if it hangs over, and the longer that it hangs over the 202.89, the higher probability that you'll run that to, to, to the 208. Point, um, yeah, that 208 establishes that that break on the swing high. But this this is this is, and what's cool about this is this. If you're intraday trading, this is a nice place to set up. That's what it comes down to. We'll you set know. up for. I'd set up for a shot. I mean, but you know. Yeah, but bottom line is that, um, you know. That's what I'm doing. How'd you know? <laughs> All right, uh, hey, thanks a lot. Okay, man. Take have care. a great one. Have Bye -bye. a safe one. And don't forget, folks. Uh, today we got a great lineup for you. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. He's going to be growling a problem with you. We're going to go to TD Ameritrade headquarters. Kevin Hinks. And uh, Kevin uh, has an outstanding show, folks, uh, in, inside the option market. Dave White, 
uh, I mean, Steve Rhodes. Uh, next, Dave White. I'll be back here. Andy Heck will be uh, on from uh, uh, 5 to 6 tonight. And uh, bottom line is that keep your eye on Apple out here because, you know, uh, what we do have with Apple is this. The, the correlation would be that you know, when I talk with Mark from Four Calendars, uh, Apple should be able to hit the 114 easy. Um, it, it's, it has the acceleration. However, what we just had in this last two bars is that it's losing the juice. It's saying to me, we have the same fund operator who whaled Apple on the 29th at ICE is selling away right now. So if Apple cannot close over this 113.51 that's going to that's going to be a heads up that you have that's where the seller is that's where they're unloading that product um, and because apple is such a large waiting and apple is saving the day for the dow industrials out here today with uh, good old big blue uh, taking it and taking itself big blue folks is breaking the 140.62 level we hit 140.50 We've already done 6.9 million. This is a monster problem because Big Blue is another ABC down. Your A point is 166. Your B is 140. You get 26 bucks. That's going to bring it down to a buck 25. Big Blue wants to go to a buck 10. Pretty wild. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. I'm Ann. Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming up next. Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.